and welcome to today's video and welcome to another WWE reaction that wasn't cute enough Mm -mm. Guys, Royal Rumble is behind us. I reacted to it live on stream. You can still see the live event on my uh, previous lives on this YouTube channel. Or if you want to check out the edited version with the video and audio of that Royal Rumble event, you can check it out on my Patreon. Patreon.com slash support bunny. I will leave a link in the description if you're interested. Also, you can follow me on my social medias as well as on my second channel, Bunnymon TV, or my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Bunnymon TV, where I do live reactions and gaming. A lot of people who were in my life were asking me yo bunny do you game i'm like how dare you ask that what do you mean i'm a big gamer i'm a gamer girl <laughs> i'm just a gamer not just an, uh, not a girl yeah i'm a gamer give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. which also brings to the question will i be playing 2k24 yes i will will i stream it on this channel yes i will will i play it with my community that is you if you play it yes i will all right let's check out this video why cm punk waited 10 years to lose to dusty's kid wwe royal rumble 2024 by wrestlemania Listen, I do have an idea why, and I will be sharing it with you throughout the video or maybe by the end. Maybe WrestleMania even figured it out the same way as I did. But I think this also is a reason for the whole story to be prolonged. You know, we don't want it to end here. This is my opinion. I think they want to make CM Punk a heel. And also they want Cody Rhodes to finish his story. But also when Cody Rhodes finishes his story, what comes next? Like what is gonna happen? That's the moment when Cody is gonna fight CM Punk again. And that's why we're gonna have more of these wrestlers throughout the year. <laughs> okay, I just shared with you what I think. Let's see what WrestleMania thinks. WrestleMania. <laughs> What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with another video. Now, the 2024 Rumble has come and gone, but fans are wondering why CM Punk came up short. Join us now as WrestleMania looks the at the real, real reasons why CM Punk didn't win the 2024 Rumble. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification it. bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new website, WrestleMania.com. Ooh, I love it. I jam with their intro. Or was Punk destined to win the Rumble? As soon as Punk returned to WWE, the promotion seemed to be setting up a program between the Second City Saint and World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins. Rollins called out Punk as soon as he returned to WWE, blasting him for walking out of the company. True. The WWE up the ante he further when Seth, Punk made it clear Seth, in interviews that he was back Reigns. in the WWE so he could do one thing he didn't do in his last run, main event, WrestleMania. But why didn't it happen? Number one, it adds to Punk's story. True. Having Punk lose is a good way to create a storyline of Punk returning to the WWE only to find out that things aren't quite going according to his plans. This doesn't force him to turn heel but provides a good reason for him turning his back on the fans. While the story might seem too reminiscent of Drew McIntyre's heel turn, the WWE can capitalize on the mm, years of comments Punk that. made blasting the WWE. If the WWE goes through with a storyline like this, it needs to be careful as it can't afford to look like it's burying Punk by portraying him as a real-life crybaby. At the same time, yeah. there's an element of reality no, in such a storyline that it could work well if handled correctly. Number two, to turn Punk heel. Exactly what I said. Punk gonna turn heel? Well, things didn't seem like, headed in this- Let's be honest. Okay, Punk in real life, he's such a nice guy. Like, I cannot see him as a heel. I follow him on Instagram. He's such a proud dad, proud person. I don't know. Like, he's such a, like, he really loves wrestling and he loves his co-workers, even though he said, I'm here to make money, not friends. He has a lot of friends. I'm sure he does, um, especially from the females. Uh, from from the women WrestleMania, uh, he was so proud of Bailey winning as well. He shared that he didn't share Cody winning though. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> what I wanted to say is that in real life, like you can see him as a nice guy, but I love his heel moment in WWE, and I think he would be an amazing heel. Plus, it would add up with Cody being a baby face and him being a heel and like going against each other. Like, that's so much better than like baby face versus baby first, which is fine as well, but like heel versus baby face. Hell yeah! Direction after his return to the WWE. But while the WWE might have been uncertain how fans would react to Punk's return after years of WWE vilifying him, the fans welcomed him back with open arms, cheering him and giving him a yeah. hero's welcome. That's a while the reasons thing. are unknown, Punk seems headed towards becoming a heel. Fans saw a glimpse of this during CM Punk's face-to-face -face with Cody on the 22nd January Raw, where things grew heated. It was yeah. clear that both men's desire to win the Rumble was strong. Yeah. However, while Cody seemed willing like to let... Like, that is, that is the moment. You know, 
what the exact moment I was like, okay, he's turning heel. He, 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 this, this, this doesn't end here. When he said, I'm a bigger American dream than you are. When he said that to Cody and you saw how much that influenced, like affected Cody and the whole audience. And even me, when I heard that, I was like, no, no, you did not just say that the best man win, Punk began showing signs of passive aggressive behavior as he subtly then not so subtly needled the American nightmare. A punk is notorious for playing mind games and he did just that when he told Cody he was more the American dream than Cody was. Tonight's rumble may have been the catalyst that drives Punk into being a full blown heel. He was clearly frustrated as he tried to eliminate Rhodes, the last man in the match besides him. Rhodes refused to lose however leading to Punk showing disgust and even saying he wasn't going to lose to Dusty's son. Punk was even more unhappy after the match as Cody celebrated his back-to-back -back Rumble win. Number yeah. three, to set up Cody vs Punk at exactly. Elimination Chamber. While it's always possible that Punk isn't turning heel, there should be no doubt he'll face Cody at Elimination oh, Chamber. Definitely. Only will their match add a big fight feel to the WWE's first PLE in Australia, oh, but it's likely this. that WWE will one? up the stakes by having Punk challenge Cody to a match where Rhodes puts up his WrestleMania title opportunity. This wouldn't be the first time that WWE has worked a match like this, and yet it's another way of keeping the fans on their toes, which brings us to the next reason for Punk's loss as number four, to keep the fans guessing. True. The WWE always likes like to keep its fans CM guessing Punk about Like I expected Gunther, Cody, or um, CM Punk to win, and I would be happy with any. Like If you have seen my live reaction, whether on Patreon or on YouTube, you can see that I was happy with either one winning. I did guess though, like I would say 70% that CM Punk would win. And the fact that he didn't, I was like, oh, okay. Now, now this, this brings to the question, what is next? You know, because if CM Punk won, we would know exactly what is next. And now we, we don't really know, but we can pretty much guess. And it, it sounds epic. How storylines are going to play out. As many fans believe that Punk was going to win the Rumble, leading him to challenging Seth Rollins at WrestleMania yeah. and getting the main event match he's wanted he since he first came to the that. WWE. We talked that Cody wasn't going to wrestle Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, with The Rock taking Cody's spot, one need will be there for Cody to win the Rumble. Yeah. Having Cody win not only keeps Cody I fans happy, at wait. least for now, but also makes fans rethink just what the WWE's plans are for this year's showcase of the Immortals. The WWE still has over two months before WrestleMania, so why not keep fans on the edge of their seats as the show of shows draws closer? Number five, it adds drama to CM Punk's story. Mm -hmm. Ironically, Punk's failure to win is reminiscent of what Cody Rhodes went through at WrestleMania 39, coming close but failing to finish the story. Booking Punk to lose creates some interesting dramatic possibilities as he finds himself forced to find an alternative to main eventing WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. This could involve Punk turning heel, but it could also lead to Punk digging deep and finding an alternative so he can keep his head high and keep his fans. Yeah. While it seems like Punk is headed for a heel turn, things haven't finished yet and this piece of drama could provide even more suspense for Punk's mm. story as well as Cody's. True. This could also provide a classic example of two wrestlers who are different sides of the coin. In Cody's case, he's suffered adversity, but refused to take shortcuts, instead spending yes. a year to get back to WrestleMania. Which is In Punk's high case, he could be me. shown as someone easily frustrated and who abandons his principles True, to like get what he wants. Ago, if especially. the WWE can develop this, it could make a Cody vs. Punk program all the more dramatic. Number six, Seth needs a heel opponent for WrestleMania 40. Exactly, if the WWE intends to book Seth, Seth vs. Punk, face. it's going to want to uh, have one heel. wrestler play a heel and one wrestler play a yeah, baby that's face. So much better. The WWE has shown I, it's oh good God, at booking the occasional this. baby face vs. baby face match, but a WrestleMania main event match deserves something bigger and more compelling. Ooh. Having Punk snap and get his world title shot by whatever means necessary can only add to the excitement for a Punk vs. Rollins match. It doesn't matter if Punk is able to take Cody's title shot or goad Seth into a title match, a heel Punk is a better opponent for Rollins than a babyface one. Yeah. Number 7. It will prove Rollins was right As Seth Rollins has spent the last few months bringing up Punk's bad attitude, a situation that could easily lead to fans wondering why the visionary is being such a jerk. However, what if Punk starts showing a bad attitude? That will prove Rollins right and keep the fans backing Seth rather than Punk. The WWE is too much invested in Rollins to turn him heel. Oh yeah, the no, more it's he, clear that Rollins has more sympathy with the hero. WWE universe, particularly following his MCL tear. Number eight, there may have been a change of plans. Mm. Vince McMahon's recent resignation may have forced a change of plans to the WWE's world title scene. Fans will recall oh. rumors that Brock Lesnar would return at the Rumble and wrestle Why Gunther. However, Lesnar was absent from the Rumble, which means that WWE may have other plans for Gunther, including a possible match against Seth Rollins. This could also include I would not punk and maybe that really. I don't know why. I mean, maybe it had, that if CM Punk was not in the story and he was not in the picture, I would understand that. But do you remember the moment CM Punk appeared, how Seth Rollins acted and what he said and how he addressed it? 
Like, this needs to happen. Them fighting each other needs to happen. What the WWE wants for night one, a star-studded triple threat match to headline the show. Number nine, Punk is in a full-time star. <laughs> Another reason why Punk lost is... <coughs> Sorry. ...full-time star. Mm. Another reason... Number nine, Punk is in a full-time star. Another reason why Punk lost is because he's not a full-time star, which makes a win at WrestleMania 40 seem unlikely. Yeah, it devalues a Rumble win and it hurts right, the then? WWE's full-time performers. While the WWE allows Reigns to defend the Undisputed Championship every few months, that's yeah. not so with Seth Rollins. The World Heavyweight Championship oh. is for all intents and purposes the WWE's actual world title. Okay. Romans is a prop that's used to maintain his stardom or whatever else the WWE thinks it's Poor doing. Roman. In the case of Raw's world title, it's that's a traditional cool. world title that's defended often and drives fans to show whether it's buying tickets or watching them. If Punk mm. wins the World Heavyweight Championship, the WWE will be stuck with two part-time champions. Yeah. Punk is in the WWE on a part-time schedule and, and while he can still do a lot for the company, putting the title on him seems meaningless. While yeah, the Punk vs. Rollins the company, match is right? appealing, using the Royal Rumble to get him there seems like a disservice to the full-time wrestlers off. who fans would be more likely to believe have a chance of winning. And number 10, adds it adds more. more to the Punk vs. Rhodes rivalry. Exactly. Anyone who doubts yeah. whether Punk and Rhodes will meet in the ring again obviously hasn't watched much wrestling. Punk's needling of Rhodes mm. on Raw and Punk's frustration at failing to put Rhodes away makes it clear that these two will meet again. Definitely. Now Punk has every reason to want to prove himself against Rhodes. Did Punk underestimate the American Nightmare or did he overestimate his own skills? Fans may find out as the story plays out, but it will play out. And best of all, this storyline can lead to a match at Elimination Chamber, then go dormant for several months or even longer as Punk focuses his attention elsewhere while Rhodes pursues True. the Undisputed Championship. Yeah, he can they could time. revisit the feud if Cody should win the Undisputed Championship, yeah. giving fans an immediate reason for the two fighting, especially yeah, on Punk's part as he has something to prove, and perhaps even heightening the stakes for the 2025 Dude, Rumble, happen, assuming like, Punk is still in the WWE by that time. What do you guys think? Let us know I in the comments down below. I'll we'll see you next time with some job. more wrestling content. And cry for more wrestling content. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I could have made this video by myself because I hit all the remarks. Of course, I didn't really explain myself so professionally as he did or they did. But maybe if I wrote a script on the side and knew the points exactly what I would be addressing, I would be able to make a sit down video and just talk about it. And I cannot believe right now that I'm saying this because it was a dream of mind to be so informed with wwe and wrestlers whether it was in the history or legends and like connect make connections and predictions based upon my knowledge <laughs> and make a whole sit down video where i like share the drama with you and we talk about it and chit chit chat or i maybe answer comments and stuff like that and i have a feeling that i'm almost there maybe like give it like a couple more months or whatnot and i want to say thank you to the community for helping me get informed the right way you took it so easy easy on me and you still are and you are informing me you're not really like going all over the place and make me confused you're taking it easy and you are also so passionate about wwe and everything you say you're like not really manipulating the info or the situation for your ends and your means you are actually i love i love how the audience and how wwe community they're like true like i don't know how to explain it but like they see the things the way they are you know they're not gonna be like hardcore fans and be like bam like like you know like when horses have this one thing and they see one thing one way no they will like look at the bigger picture and that's what i learned to do as well with wwe and pro wrestling and that's thank you thanks to you you taught me right thank you so much all right guys that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more let me know in the comment down below if you agree or disagree with anything wrestlemania said or i said let's talk about this a bit more in the comment section down below if you want to check out my royal rumble 2024 live reaction then head to my patreon patreon.com support bunny and you can check it out there have a wonderful day and see you tomorrow with a brand new video bye